with the Curry and Shay podcast. <laughs> Episode one. We are gonna do. We are doing podcasts now. You wanna say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we are doing podcasts now. <laughs> Woo! So we are gonna be talking about you know random stuff, random topics, just things that we have like a lot in common, and we talk about why. What? While high. Oh, while I. <laughs> while I. <laughs> while I. So, for today's broadcast, we are going to be talking about what it was like to be in. To be in. <laughs> to be in One Direction. Why be in denial when denial can be in you? <laughs> we're going to talk about what it was like to be a directioner. And uh, we're talking mainly um, 2010 2015 when they went on hiatus. Um, so yeah, it's apparently it's been like trendy recently to talk about what it's like to be a directioner. Be a directioner. It back then, like when I think back on it, it was like like the best time ever. Like where I would just hang out with Shay and the other gals, <laughs> oh, friends, the other direction. <laughs> Directioners. <laughs> they weren't as hardcore as us. <laughs> That's very true, though. And then they were, they went the other. Yeah. <laughs> we went so hard. We went so hard. Okay. And so yeah, just hanging out with her and just talking about One Direction and watching all their interviews and video diaries. Like, all the time though, like that's the only thing we did. Yeah, like looking back on like, it, like that fucking... was so fun. Yeah. And it was like the, it was elite. <laughs> elite. <laughs> elite. <laughs> but for five years, we like literally just dedicated <laughs> our lives, all of our free time, and not time where we were supposed to be doing <laughs> other things, like in school. Yeah. School did not exist. Yeah. All we did and thought about was One Direction. School was a chance for us to get together and talk about One Direction. <laughs> Seriously. <coughs> Acting them out. Writing, writing fanfic. Fanfic. Yeah. Writing, that's, this is what I would do at school. I'd be bored in class, I'd open a notebook and start writing the lyrics to all their songs, and I'd try and get as far through the book as I can, and I'd color code that shit. Or like, just be writing down like their quotes and stuff, just on something, I was not paying attention by Well, I graduated years. high school, so... I paid attention a little bit. At least enough. Enough. <laughs> enough. I, I fantasized so many times of just them walking into the class. Yes! Oh my gosh! I'd be sitting there I'm like, what would I do with Harry? Right <laughs> yeah. Now? Like, what the? Just they just all walked in. Oh, Emily Kirby has won a contest, so come with us. Peace <laughs> <'Cause laughs> out, bitches! But yeah, uh, those scripts that we wrote, we're gonna try to find some of them and then come back for another podcast and or video, whatever, we and go through, through them, them because and I still have like some like, almost all of my old ones on Wattpad still. Yeah, Wattpad. So, <laughs> that's a whole nother section of being a director right now. That's the only word we need to say, and y'all understand. Uh, Wattpad. Oh. <laughs> Wattpad. <laughs> That's like the only thing I had Wattpad for, because like even now I'm like still like like Harry Potter and like Tom Felton and Tom Hiddleston and into these guys, but like I just read Wattpad stories is just not good enough for me right now. <laughs> but only One Direction, <laughs> One Direction I read, I will read Wattpad for. Yeah, dude, like that's literally all we. We lived together, and I read a Nylon fan fiction every night before we went to fucking bed. Do you remember <laughs> that? That we had written fan yes. fiction before we went to bed it was while thing. writing our own fan fiction. Dude, that's when I wrote the vampire one. Yeah, it's oh, our Prince the, Louis. That's the yeah. Dude, I think that's like the best One Direction fan fiction I've ever written. Is the vampire one? This is so good. Dude, I think I found like as I was going through my stuff, you know. I found the paper and it was like the beginning of a story, just one page, and I'm pretty sure it was supposed to end up being like a, a Louis fanfiction specifically. Of course, you wrote it. But it was, yeah. <laughs> but it was like a little girl was at the park and she found a picture of this boy and she took it home. She's like, Mom, look what I found. There's a picture of this boy just like hanging with his dog or something. He looked really happy. 
and her mom's like, just throw it away, whatever, and she keeps it, and then she ends up meeting this guy, which is probably going to be Louis, and um, like they fall in love and stuff, and then he finds the picture, and he's like, where did you get this from? <laughs> it's going to be something like that, isn't that such a sick story? Yeah, <laughs> sick story. <laughs> Let's not talk about Wattpad too much, because yeah. <laughs> that'll come later. Anyways, up. back to what it's like being in a director and what we did. Yeah. We dressed up like them. Like, even, like, especially like, you. Yeah, almost every single day. Huh? Like, we would, so, when, when we first became we fans, first became fans ow. <laughs> we wanted to recreate, like, their videos and stuff like that. Um, so, like, we had parts. She was Louie. And I was Harry. Really? Even though Niall's my favorite. But I was Harry. I can't say Harry without. <laughs> Harry, right? Harry. 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 <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. So we, like, she would dress up as Louie, and I would dress up as Harry sometimes. I wasn't that. I didn't do it like every day. You just as like future Harry, because you always wore like weird ass shit. <laughs> and that's I why am Harry. Harry. That's why Harry does now. He just wears weird ass shit. I don't like his style though. Yeah, but like <clears throat> generalized wise, like before he just pretty normal because they were dressed how you know people wanted them to dress or whatever. But now he dresses like how he wants to dress, which is weird, and that's your style. So it's like you just as future Harry. <laughs> I have. St Dial. What? I listened to the song Olivia today with Damon. Okay. Harry Styles' girlfriend right now is named Olivia! Bro! That's why she's dating him. <laughs> if I was her, I'd be like, you have to say that to me every night. <laughs> every night. Every night. She's also 10 years older than him. Well, he has a type. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I remembered though, um, when we would reenact the video diaries, and I went to school, and we watched that video, we can't find it now, but of Caleb ripping duct tape off my mouth, or you? It was you. It was me. It was you. I was wearing sweats, and they were in sweats in the video diaries, like, man, I did go all out with this shit. I was like, I gotta get it. <laughs> Nothing can be a mess. <laughs> I didn't have sweats back then. So, really? yeah. I remember we were like, wanting to do that. I think do the, my brother's sweats. I didn't own sweats. <laughs> they, they, we were trying to do that one, the video diary where they're all in sweats on the couch. Yeah. And I was like, kept telling you, I don't own any sweats. And then I remember when Ian gave me sweats, and I'm like, I can do that video now. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all I think about when None I None of sweats. us are really friends at that point. We were like, I can do that video now. Like, every time I think of sweats, that's what I think about now. Because I was just like, I kept telling you over and over again, I don't own sweats, Shay! <laughs> Did you ever see, like, their movie in theater or anything? We've never, we never saw them in concert. They only came to Utah once. Yeah, I cried. But, what? <laughs> Did you ever like they released a movie This Is Us and it was in theaters? Yeah. Did you see that in theaters? Yeah. Didn't we go together? No. Oh my god, what is it? Like? <laughs> Maybe it was Kayla? Probably. I don't know. I remember it wasn't we, with me. <clears throat> I remember like we were like in a hurry but we were like running a little late. And then we were running through the <laughs> No, let me hear the one direction! We were running through the movie theater. <laughs> And we're like asking him, the guy, did we miss anything? And he's like, yeah, they already played the first song. And I'm like, no! Nah! And he's like, I'm just kidding. Jill, I'm like, no! <laughs> no! We, we ran to our seats and, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have theaters. <clears throat> I still have thought it was you. No, it wasn't me. I wish I was there. I'm just glad I got a seat in theaters, you know? Yeah. I mean, I got in <laughs> trouble, but... Because I was supposed to be home, and I just 
excited. I didn't want to be home. I wanted to go see One Direction. So I did. Um, and me all the time. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be home. I want to see One Direction. Well, duh. They locked me out of the house. <laughs> I slept outside. <laughs> oh, Zane. Leaving. It was a bad day. Because I think that's my least favorite day now. March 25th. Every time it comes up, I'm like, oh, this is not going to be a good day, man. Yeah, I still can't remember if I found out a day later or not. About what? And about Zane leaving. Oh. I don't even, I can't, because like, I thought Brian told me, but I don't know. I can't remember. All I remember is sitting in the lazy chair and Brian sitting on the couch like, watching TV or something. And. I remember crying. Yeah, I cried a lot. Like, that's all I remember. I, like, literally, since, like, One Direction was such a, like, huge thing for me, like, the whole saving my life aspect, um, like, that hit, like, a, a different way. It was, like, really, really hard because it, like, felt like my whole existence, what was, like, keeping me here on this earth just fucking fell apart, so I fell apart and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like, it was... It was not a good day, man. Dude, I, w I didn't even, like, I wasn't crying, like, hysterically. Like, I was just, like... Depressed, you know, you're de depressed, you're like, <laughs> depressedly crying. Just, like, calmly ch crying. Because I, was I was not. Like, I was dramatic. <clears throat> I wasn't really dramatic. I was just, like, this is so sad, I thought. I think I was really disappointed in Zane. That's what was the main thing. Just, like, I felt like he like betrayed my trust. Yes! I felt so betrayed by Zayn that day. <laughs> so I tore down all those posters and I sort of totally regret. Dude, I wish I was able to hang I didn't I wasn't able to hang my posters up until I moved out and had my own room with actual walls. <laughs> That's when I was able to hang my posters up, because I wasn't allowed to at my mom's house. Not that I could, because I, you know, didn't have fucking walls. I I covered my entire walls with One Direction posters. My dad still gets mad at me for it now. <laughs> like, when I move back in, he's like, don't be covering your entire walls in posters. Rude. Yeah. Rude. How would you, why would you assume that? <laughs> Obvious reason. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Did I remember... First time I like really, cause I like wasn't like a fan like right as they like got together. Like I, yeah. I didn't watch the X Factor. I went back and rewatched that stuff. Um, so it wasn't like it was like right around like right after their first album came out. So it wasn't like super late to the game. Yeah, but the guy was there like right after I think. I don't know. There's just uh, something in the movie. There's a video that they show after they talk about the X Factor, and I'm like, oh, I remember. And like, I knew that's when I became a directioner. Yeah. But I don't remember how far after the X Factor was. Yeah, I don't remember mine either. I do remember <coughs> the first time really hearing about it besides, you know, because I listen to the radio all the time. Mm -hmm. I what makes you beautiful play all the time? Because it, you know, it was just released. Yeah. You know, people were all about it. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know who this group is, but, you know. I didn't even think it was a group. They said One Direction. I'm like, one person cannot sing all those voices. <laughs> 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 but then, like, other than that, you were the first one who showed me One Direction with your little, like, tiny pink flip phone, and you had a picture of One Direction on there. You showed me an Earth Systems. You basically I don't remember that. At all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You showed me. But you're I like, don't doubt you're like, it. You're like, Yvonne wants Nile. He's my favorite. He's Irish. Really? Yes. I thought Harry was my favorite at that point. No, it was Nile. You straight up said Nile. No. And no, like, I couldn't scary. see them at all because the picture was like this <laughs> fucking big. Look how hot they are. Where? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? So I like disregarded it. I was like, all right. Cool. Uh, like sure. And then like girls camp, everybody kept talking about Harry Styles, Harry Styles. I'm like, I have no idea who the fuck Harry Styles is. And then like we I don't remember.
Superman, but I know like you like told me to watch the Video Diaries or something. I so I that. did. Or you like we watched one or two together or something. And I was like, all right, I'll give them a try. I don't remember exactly how it went down. I just know I started watching the Video Diaries, and then went off on like a million other web pages, <laughs> watching interviews and <laughs> the. The, the, like the X Factor performances and there is their solo performance, you know, like their audition tapes. Like I just I went back and I caught I caught the fuck up, man. That's what I did. Probably way more than me. I was like, what the fuck did you do? If you know me, school ends. I come back and I'm like a director as fuck because we didn't talk to each other very much in, in like the summertime. And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> You did not even care last year. And I'm like, hey, get him now, right? Get me, my buddies, best buds. Dude, they had their song out when we were in dance class, and we danced to the fucking Wanted. Yeah. Like, it was an alright song, but now I'm just like, how dare us? We were, like, we were to, like, we needed something with, like, a CD. Yeah. And I didn't have any other One Direction CD. So yeah. we, I had to use that one, and that's the one we picked from that CD. Yeah. So that's why we used it, but it like a fan. We I had bombed that performance. That was fucking horrible. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the one who choreographed like 99% of the fucking dance. I don't <laughs> Dude, I remembered it for a, a bit, but... I do not remember a single part. So. I was also surprised we didn't put One Direction dances into it. Like I was in director at that point. Oh, that was like when you like showed you the picture on your tiny ass really? phone. Yeah. How come I remember dancing to that song, but I don't remember a single thing about sharing One Direction with you? I don't know. How'd you first hear about One Direction? I don't remember at all. No, I really don't remember it at all. All I remember is. We were in one to one direction, that's it. I don't remember the Come process. 10th grade, we were obsessed. Uh, majorly. <laughs> majorly. Like, I remember a little bit in junior high, but like... You were still like on Justin Bieber too. Though. Yeah, I was mainly Justin Bieber then, so... I really don't remember anything about One Direction before you. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't. I really brought that steam in 10th grade. Huh? I really brought that steam in 10th grade. <laughs> Bro, do you remember? I would like walk in and scream, <laughs> Harry! Yes, I remember that. That was so embarrassing. Gosh! I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, I literally, you like literally yelled Harry and then ran up and to hug me. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this little thing's going to take me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And the little thing, what the fuck? <laughs> And I'm like looking at everyone else and everyone's just staring at me and I'm like, I don't know her. <laughs> like then it wasn't really that cool to like One Direction unless like, I don't know. Like with girls like, it was called like a secret that we had. Yeah. No, the guys are just like made fun of us so bad. But we didn't give a fuck. Fuck man. I, I mean I did a little bit. Dude, that went so far. Like I cut my own fucking bangs horribly to be Louie so I could put I remember my, put my hair back and do like I remember work. I curled my hair a lot because you know Kelly Kelly had. Kelly had. <laughs> but and I do remember dressing up like him a few times like especially when we were like discussing and doing videos but I, I wore stripes so much, my mom fucking knew that I like stripes. Cause Louie, she would like, mm -hmm. we did family pictures and you know there's only two other people in the photo who have stripes on. Everybody else is like matching, like half the girls are wearing just plain red shirts, the other half are wearing plain like white sweaters, mm -hmm. um, all the boys were wearing black, Brody and I think Rowdy were wearing black and dark gray striped shirts. So the tiny, tiny little, the two youngest ones there, or it was Alex or something, and my mom's like, here, you can wear this one, and it's a black and white striped shirt. Like, I was so missing that from everybody in a way, <laughs> and I was like, she's like, you like stripes, you can wear this. <laughs> I was like, alright. <laughs> Remember that suspenders too, because, or braces, 
the right fellas. Do I think my mom just did that because she knew I'd get pissed if I had to wear the other one? Like, I complained about it. She's like, fine, you can wear the striped one. And I was like, yeah. Probably. And I had my One Direction bracelet on. It was like one of those rubber ones, like that one, but thick. And it said, I love 1D, I love 1D. And it was orange. I was wearing that in that picture. I didn't get any of that kind of One Direction stuff. I think I stole that from the store. Most of the One Direction stuff I had at that point, I stole from the store because my mom went back and anything. Mainly just magazines, though. I did buy my belt. <coughs> One Direction belt, I bought. And the CDs, I bought. <laughs> well, or they were given to me. I mean, like, I had asked my parents for, like, <clears throat> One Direction stuff for, like, birthdays and Christmas, but, like, they'd all be kind of, like, big things, like, <clears throat> um, a poster or, like, the DVD. Yeah. But, like, not, like, the, all the small stuff I never got. But you gotta hang your posters on your wall. <laughs> yeah. Dude, but like after that, cause like, I wasn't doing my radio in my room all day. Like that's all I ever did. And then my mom got me the One Direction CDs. So, well the first one for, well, Santa, sorry. Um, <laughs> Santa gave it to me. But, yeah, it's from that point forward that's all I listened to. just their track over and over and over and then as I collected the CDs I would move to the next one until I had every word memorized and I knew exactly what song and what number it was on the album and <coughs> I went hardcore and I did that it's up till midnight memories and then I went to Job Corps and did it with four when it came out because I was I was able to go to a friend's house for Thanksgiving and I just sat there on the laptop and I was like One Direction has a new album out I gotta go listen I just sat there and listened to One Direction the whole time I was there until I memorized that album and then a different friend from John Corps bought me Made in the End so once at that point we were jamming to that it was exact CD actually in your car and Zane's first CD. Mm. <clears throat> I remember listening to Zane's, Zane's first, like, like that was like, a yeah. we listened to it so much. I remember when we first listened, like, we knew, both knew a couple songs, but we were listening to the whole thing, like, like, reading the lyrics together, yeah. and we were just like, oh, Zane, this is, bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> thanks <laughs> for letting me down. <laughs> Every time I listen to his songs, I just, like, I think about that now, I'm like, I remember being in my car, my lame four- Fucking focus. <laughs> <coughs> Listening to the CD. At least you had a CD player. At least you had a car. I didn't have a car at that point. I also remember we were outside of your aunt and uncle's house. Yeah. Yep. It was across the street. And then whenever we'd drive anywhere, it would be that. Like, I remember going up the canyon. Yeah. Yeah, because we used to go on like hikes and shit together. I remember listening to like that and showing like Dayton and Austin. We went hiking with them. That's what we were listening to, and they were just sitting back there like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Dayton like tried to be supportive about it, but I don't think he liked it very much. <laughs> it's like uh, I don't want to say it. I don't have a formal apology. <laughs> but you had to deal with us back then. What? Who had to deal with us? They had to deal with us that back oh, then. they had to deal with us. I was like, what was the deal? Why was? Why did I not remember this deal? <laughs> the deal. No, they had to deal with us back yeah, then. Yeah, that's true. I feel bad for anyone who did. <laughs> who had to. Dude, the top of my dresser was like a fucking altar to One Direction. I had like all the cups, I had some pictures propped up. I would fall asleep listening to their music. My mom yeah. gets so mad that I left the CD player running all night. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I yeah, said soundly. <laughs> happy times. And every time you see a pigeon. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they're so, they change so much stuff on how we see things. Like, I can't see carrots the same. Nope. Or Lamborghinis. <laughs> like, bro, we're pigeons. We're, like, there's so much <clears throat> stuff. Or beanie. It's like... If we were giving any, cats. <laughs> if we were given like almost any word, we could like tie it back to one direction somehow. That's how much we were into. Dude, <laughs> is there like a word generator out there? <laughs> I don't wanna do that though. Dude, that sounds so fun. I remember talking to Kayla at school when um they just came out with 
What's that song? One way or another. On way or nothing. Yeah, she's like, I need to do it. I remember watching that music video so much and like doing the dances at school. I fucking remember that shit. It might have been when I was at Tearsville when you weren't there. I still did all of that stuff. And then Alex got switched schools over. So I forced her to listen to me talk about One Direction the whole time. I don't think she actually liked them. I think she just let me do my thing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of how I feel about Kayla now. Is that she was never really cared. Except for the, yeah, she sent me a picture once. She commented oh. on your thing. She's like, Lean's still really hot though. Something like that. I'm sure you're like, a. So you do like them. Yeah. Like that one picture of Harry when he was swimming and like he was shirtless and wet and I remember seeing that picture for the first time and just being like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro. Horror. Horror. <laughs> Adventures, Adventures in One Direction. cheese or something like that. That's what he does. Wrapped in Pomaham. I was also thinking of the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> tacos. Yes. In a tortilla bowl. <laughs> Tomato cheese and lettuce in a tortilla bowl. <laughs> It's tacos. tacos. Introducing. That's disgusting. Tacos. <laughs> Just that voice. <laughs> tacos. <laughs> That's not breakfast. <laughs> That's not breakfast. It is now. Oh. Introducing tacos. <laughs> <laughs> me. Niall's bad me. The lyrics in the song is like, um, I get down on one knee for you or something like that. And I, I get down. I get down. Yeah. I get down. I remember when you would listen to that, and every time I'd be like, "Isn't it supposed to be the other way around?" And you'd give me the look up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time I was like, "Just, just, just shut up." Tent. Shit. When they were going camping. Forget how they did the scouts. Yes. Yes. We're doing it the tunnel oh, way. <laughs> Looking good, lads. <laughs> He's the third does nothing. Midnight <laughs> memories. <laughs> oh. What is midnight? Oh, plane. Plane. Oh, that's easy. That's obvious. Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, plane. <laughs> it reminds me of the Adventures in Adventures One Direction. When they're trying to explain why Liam scares spoons and it shows the mom going, here oh, comes the airplane! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you guys haven't watched Adventures in Adventures One Direction, you really should. It's fucking hilarious. <sighs> I remember waiting for like the next one to come out and being and like then he only did two yeah he's like damn it's like i remember waiting for it to go too and we were just like waiting and waiting for another one to come out it's like no <laughs> it's gotta be you <laughs> you 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 Cream. That reminds me of when Harry, like, what does Louie taste like? <laughs> so <I'm looking. laughs> oh no. Ah! Ah! That's another video. <laughs> that's, that's a Larry video. Yeah. Chorus. Well, Chorus? Well, duh. <laughs> old. Well, Harry has a thing for old ladies. And then, like, well, oh, no, Subtle traffic! Lender! <laughs> But the old one, um, yeah. At my age. Oh. It's my favorite shot, Dan. Dan. <laughs> then you just got crazy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we should be done. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, flick. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. <sighs> we can go with the little soft traffic. I let him throw as he jumps on the couch like that. <laughs> Anyways, 
this has been our podcast episode number one. Um, not all the podcast episodes will be One Direction themed. This is just what we decided to do But we'll definitely for have a series story. of it. We'll definitely have a One Direction series. It'll have its own playlist for sure. For all the Directioners out there. Yeah. Join us next time for some more fun! <laughs> and the winner is... Harry! <laughs> you get a banana in your face! And Liam, you get a banana in your face! <laughs> what do you bring, Liam? No hair! <laughs> no hair! Do me a favor. <laughs> That's a Larry one! If you, guys, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs up and subscribe and comment down what you thought. Comment down topics for podcast ideas uh, or random words you want us to describe. <laughs> that's gonna that's be that's gonna some more that's gonna be way more explanation. But yeah. yeah. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Peace.